Hello, welcome to Chair and Mat Yoga with Katie. Let's come to a comfortable seated position. We're going to start with Chair Yoga first. Close your eyes for a moment, taking a few calming breaths. When you inhale through your nose, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Staying very calm, relaxed in the present moment. Focusing on your own practice and your own breath. Now we're going to slowly open up the eyes. Inhale your arms up above the head. Turn the palm out, exhale down. So deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We never hold our breath. Inhale your arms up, big, big stretch. Reach for the sky, lengthening the spine. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky, exhale down. One last one, inhale your arms up, big, big stretch. Exhale down, hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. We're going to stretch out the neck next. Near to shoulder, extend the opposite arms. Using the same hand to guide or support the head stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, any clicking sound, just stay here for a little bit longer. No need to rush. We're going to be holding it here for three. Two and one, slowly come back to center. Take it in, how to center. Exhale, we go to the other side. Extend the opposite arm out, or you can also wrap that arm around your waist. Using the same hand to guide or support the head stretch. No need to rush. If there's any clicking sound, any stiffness, just stay here for a little bit longer. Now we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale and send the exhale to overlook the right shoulder. Only go to where you're comfortable. Inhale, send the exhale to the other side. Stretch. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale first. Exhale, lift the chin up, looking up. Stretching the front of your neck. Inhale, send the exhale, chin to chest. Relieve tension at the back of your neck. Inhale, center, exhale, we look at the right armpit. Slowly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Inhale, center, exhale, we look at the other armpit. Slowly tuck the chin in. 45 degree angle, looking down. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take an inhale first. Exhale, lift the chin up, looking up. Stretching your neck. No need to arch the neck back. Diagonal corner of the ceiling. Slowly come back to center and we're going to look at the other corner of the ceiling, lifting the chin up, looking up. Diagonal stretch. No need to arch your neck back. So we're stretching all different angles of your neck. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Take a breath here. Next circle, half circle only. Nice and slow. Don't swing your head. Don't spin so fast that you make yourself dizzy and damage the soft tissues of your neck. If you prefer not to do neck circle, no problem. Two more breaths here. And we're going to slowly, slowly come back to center. Two, release. Very good. Take a couple of coming breaths. Shoulder stretch, right arm up and across, pull back, creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Be mindful for those who have shoulder issues or any issues at all. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first, place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow, tricep stretch, chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. And don't worry if you're not able to do this. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out, repeat on the other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Slowly release, same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the hand behind your back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. But don't worry if you're not able to do this. Holding it here for three, two, 
and one slowly slowly release where you're gonna shake it out hands on the shoulders now we're saying now out inhale one way exhale the other feel the pain to your shoulder blades expanding lung heart chest capacity increase your range of motion improving your posture when you're in the center position we're going to go into a full circle try to draw the elbow closer and closer together continue to oil the shoulder joint change direction go the other way big big circular motion increase flexibility mobility in your joints slowly come back to center we're going to inhale the arms up the length of the spine exhale we come to a side bend outside hand grab hold the inside wrist chin is away from the body eyes will keep up through the length in the side of the body inhale center the length of the spine Exhale, we go to the other side. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist, chin is away from the body. Stimulating meridian point, acupuncture point in the side of the body. Now we're going to inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm. Top arm is the crescent moon. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking up. Feel the length in the side of the body. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, we go to the other side. Release the bottom arm. Top arm, suppress the knee. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Slowly, slowly come back up to length of the spine. Exhale, get ready to twist. Opposite hand, opposite spine. Back hand behind you. We're going to slowly turn. Overlooking your shoulder, look at the back, turning the neck as well. Holding it here. No need to rush. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up, forming a present, looking up. Slowly release, repeat on the other side, opposite hand, opposite thigh, the other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. So we're going to keep turning. Inhale, prepare, exhale, turn. Turning the neck as well. Overlooking the shoulder, look at the back. Use your front hand and your exhale breath to turn a little bit more. Now we slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the Adama, forming and pressing, looking up. Slowly, slowly release, hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Coming into toss of turn, shoulder roll. So starting out a small circle, gradually do a deeper and deeper toss of turn. Feel free to move the shoulders. The head doesn't move, so don't spin so fast that you make yourself dizzy. When you're in the center position, we can change direction. Go the other way. Toss or turn, shoulder roll. Starting our small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper toss or turn. Don't spin so fast that you make yourself dizzy. And we're gonna slowly curve back to center. Two, release, very good. Coming into a forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lengthen the spine. Exhale. Hinging from the hips, leading with the chest, forward bend. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. Lengthening the spine, stretching out the back, opening up the hip joints. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, we need to slowly come our fit. Hold it here. For three. Two and one. Take your time to rise up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to seated. Let your breath pressure get adjusted. 
after you come all the way up, we're going to go back by the counter. I'm going to sit sideways. You don't have to sit sideways. Watch me. Interlace the finger behind. Now goes down away from the body. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. We're not pushing the stomach forward. Don't arch your back. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up. Improve your posture. Stretching on the front of your neck to reduce turkey neck, double chin, and relieve tension at the back of the neck. Slowly, slowly, release. Very good. Sitting up nice and tall here. Coming into wrist rotation, 10 times one way, 10 times reverse. Change direction. Be mindful for those who have carpal tunnel syndrome. Forward, backward, tuck the elbow, close your body. Continue with wrist exercise. Not only the wrist move, the arm doesn't move. Thumb up, forward, backwards, change angle. Now we're going to change leg up, give it a very, very gentle twist. And we're going to go shake, shake, shake. Nice and slow with control. No big movement. You don't have to go big and you don't have to go fast. Slowly, slowly release hands on your thighs, setting up nice and tall. Alternating shoulder roll, one up and one down. Know your range of motion. Make a movement if you like, like a backstroke. Be mindful not to hit the chair, other furniture in your place, or other family member. If you happen to be doing this with other family members. Change direction, go the other way. Forward, alternating shoulder roll. Once again, make a movement if you like. Control your movement. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs. Sitting up nice and tall here. And then we're going to do finger exercise. Spread all your fingers. Push and pull. Feel the picture of shoulder blade. Forearm stretch. Wrist exercise. Finger exercise. Sitting securely on your chair, we're not leaning forward. So you're not gonna fall off while you're doing this chair yoga portion of the program. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Arms out, small little circle. Doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise. Shoulder exercise. Change direction, go the other way. Circular motion. And we're gonna change direction one more set. And change direction. So shake it out. Make your fist, inhale, shoulders up to your heels. Make it tight, tight, tight. Ah, sign it out to release. Again, inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale, let it go. Two more times. Inhale your shoulders up. Tight, tight, tight. Ah, one last one. Inhale your shoulders up, creating a lot of tension in the body. Exhale to release. Very good. Shake it out. Hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into toe stretch. Spread all your toes, taking the big toe down, hands on your thighs. Inhale, lift the heel high, high up. Exhale to lower the heel back down. So keep going. Strengthening the entire leg from the hip joint to your toes. We're gonna add the arms. We're gonna inhale the arms up above the head. Reach for the sky, up, up, up on your tippy toes. Exhale, to slowly release. So keep going at your own breath and your own pace. Let your brain do the work to control the movement. 
Control your breathing. Both arms and leg. Increase flexibility and mobility in your joint while we're strengthening muscle tone so that we're not losing muscle mass and bone density as we age. So let's do another three. Up, up, up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale your arms up. Reach for the sky. Up on your toes. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale your arms up. Big, big stretch. Exhale. Release everything down. Hands on your thighs. Ankle stretch. Point and flex. Point and flex. Setting up nice and tall. The alignment is shoulder on top of hips. And we're pumping blood back to your heart, helping you with circulation. One up and one down. Keep paddling. Strengthening the ankle joints so it's not so easy as the bend fall. And twist your ankle. So fall, prevention. Side to side. So if you sometimes have leg cramp or swollen ankle, you can do this ankle exercise and see if it's going to bring you some relief. Circular motion. Doesn't matter whether you go clockwise or counterclockwise. Reduce wellness, increase flexibility, mobility in your joint, and go the other way. So some days, if you don't feel like to get up and do any strenuous exercise, you can always do some stretches, gentle stretches, wrist rotation, ankle rotation, even while you are sitting down watching TV. And slowly, slowly release, sitting up nice and tall. Taking a couple of calming breaths, and we're going to go into a figure four. So you're going to place the foot next to the thigh. If you can bring the foot on top, that's good because sometimes people have very tight hip and they're not able to raise the foot up. You can have it resting on the inner thigh. So opposite hand to the thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly behind your spine. So when you inhale deeper, exhale, turn, turning the neck as well. See if you can turn a little bit more of each exhale breath. Once again, we are massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox, turning the neck as well. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly bring the body back to the center and resting on the thigh, flexing the foot to protect your knee. This is point, this is flex. So by flexing the foot, you're engaging the leg you're protecting the knee. So we're gonna place the hand on the knee part. We never press on the knee joint or ankle joint to avoid injury. So we're gonna inhale to lengthen, sit up tall, exhale, inch forward, leaving with the chest. By leaning forward, you're gonna immediately feel the stretch in the same hip flexor as the bad knee. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lean. Don't forget to breathe. In and out through your nose. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lean. Opening up the hip joint, stretching the hip flexor. Helping people to relieve sciatica pain. If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Everybody's built differently, different ability, different level, different experiences. Holding it here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, release, repeat on the other side, figure four. So if you're not able to raise the foot above the thigh, just place it behind the inner thighs. We're gonna do the stretch first. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over, bring it directly right behind the spine. So we're gonna inhale, prepare, exhale, turn. Turning the neck as well, holding it here. Massaging internal organs, helping you to digest and detox. Stay here for three, 
two. And one, slowly bring the body back to center. Okay, resting on the medium part. We never press on the joint. Inhale, prepare, exhale, knee. Now make sure both butt are sitting down. You're not lopsided one way or the other. Make yourself comfortable. By leaning forward, you're gonna immediately feel the stretch. In the same here, flexor as the bend knee. Inhale, prepare, exhale, knee. You adjust your own tension and your own pressure. If you are a side attica sufferer, if leaning forward is gonna cause you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, slowly come out of it, especially those who have tight hips as well. And we're gonna be staying here for three, two, and one, slowly, slowly rise up, two, release, very good. Sitting up nice and tall, we're gonna to come to when releasing, wrap your arms around, the right knee. So my left is your right. I do mirror image. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeeze. Massaging organs on the right side as well as ascending colon. So anytime you feel bloated, constipated, when releasing is a good one to do. Do it about 10 times. Big colons go from right to left. So you can start with your right leg first. If you're Doing the left leg, same leg as me. Body's very smart, it's not gonna mess you up and give you more constipation or diarrhea. Let's do another three. Two. And one big, big squeeze, draw the knee close to the body. Sit up tall, holding it here for three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side, wrap your arms around the left knee. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Do this about 10 times, sitting up nice and tall. If you need back support, you can place a firm cushion or pillow behind your back for support. Now we have a big, big squeeze, draw the knee close to the body. If you like, and rest the foot on your thigh, on your chair rather. Just a couple more breaths here. We're going to slowly release, very good. Sitting up nice and tall. Coming into cat and cow in the upper body. So we're going to inhale to open up the body, shine the chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Exhale, run your back as much as you can. Pull your belly in, chin to chest, coming into a cat. So we're going to continue at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale to cow, exhale to cat. Creating spaces between vertebrae, helping you to relieve back pain. Expanding lung, heart, chest capacity, helping people with breathing related issues like asthma, allergies. Improving your posture to eliminate humback, stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and chin down. Release tension at the back of your neck to reduce turkey neck and double chin. Relieve tension at the back of your neck, creating spaces between C2 and C7. One last one, inhale, open up the body. Exhale, to close. Slowly, slowly, coming back. Nice and comfortable. We're gonna open up the hip joint, striking the inner thigh. So we're gonna open, toes are pulling it out. Now you don't have to open up very big. Watch your hip joint, watch your inner thighs. In, draw the knee in, toes are pulling it in like pigeon toes. So inhale, open, exhale, close. Go your own breath and your own pace. No need to rush. No need to go big. No need to go fast. So take your time. 
Now we're gonna add the arm next. Arms up, inhale, open, exhale, close. Draw the elbow through and knees together. Both upper and lower body workouts. Continue to strengthen muscles. So we are stretching, strengthening, toning, conditioning muscle mass, maintaining muscle mass and bone density as we age. So why we cannot stop the process of aging? Hopefully with regular practice daily, we can slow down the process of aging. Let's do another three. Two and one big, big stretch. Now we're going to have arms up, launching it side to side. Make sure you don't fall off your chin. Engage your arm, strong arms. If I was to come and press on you, you should be able to resist me. Palm facing down, shoulder height. Hands on your waist while we're launching side to side, dropping the shoulder into the middle of your space. Sitting securely on your chair, you're not going to fall off in the center. Bring your hands to heart center, prayer position while we're lunging side to side. Keep pressing the palm together. Slowly, slowly come back to center, bring the legs together. Sitting up nice and tall, have a sip of water if needed, stay hydrated during the program. Interlace the finger, press down, push the floor away, middle, push, not leaning forward. We're still sitting on the chair securely. Up, push the sky away, continue. Shoulder exercise, forearm stretch, wrist exercise. Feel your shoulder blade working. Sitting up nice and tall, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Engage your core abdominal muscles, which means pull your belly in towards the spine, but not squeezing so hard that you're cramping. Couple more rounds. And one last one. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on your thighs, sitting up nice and tall here. Take a couple of calming breaths. Inhale your arms up, palm touch. Release index, finger grow tall. Exhale, we're gonna drop the hands to the back of the head. Now, a lot of people just round the back, so we don't want that. We want to continue to lengthen the spine, having a strong, healthy spine to support us for the rest of our lives. So we also have to strengthen the front abdominal muscles and the lower back muscles to support your spine. Arms up above the head, dropping the elbow side to side, continue with shoulder exercise. If you're not able to interlace the fingers, you can have the fingers slightly apart. So you can always change, adapt, modify to suit your own needs, your own body type your own experiences and your own level. Everybody has different body fit. Slowly, slowly release, arm down by your side, shake it out. Hands up, go pose arm, pull back. Another shoulder exercise, not to overwork any particular part of the body, so we're just gonna do it about 10 times. Opening up lung heart chest again. Helping people with breathing related issues. One arm up, the other arm down. Pull back, cactus arms are fine. So five times one side, five times the other side. So we're just gonna do a few more rounds. And five on this side, switch. Switch, five on this side, pull back. 
switch, pull back, and switch. Slowly release, shake it out, and we're gonna get ready to stand up. Take your time to rise up to standing. We're gonna stretch out the hamstrings. So if placing the foot up on the chair is too much for you, keep it on the ground. So you can do it this way. So on this side, I do modification for those who can put the legs up on the chair, go ahead. So when I do the other leg, I'll place it on the chair. So on this side, I demonstrate placing it on the floor. Point the front toes up to the ceiling, bending the back leg, square the hip to the front, holding onto your chair. So we're not pressing the entire body weight on this. You don't want to damage the hamstring. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, not rounding the back or dropping the head. Good posture always. You're going to feel the stretch in your hamstring. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly rise up, bring the legs together, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Feel free to sway the hip out. Now, you, there may be some cracking sound if you've been sitting for a little bit longer. And while we're trying to do some standing stretches, there may be some clicking sound. And we're going to repeat on the other leg. So those who feel more comfortable with the foot on the ground, go ahead. So on this side, I demonstrate. So you can place the foot on your chair. So I do have a very thin cushioning to support you. So square the hip to the front when you're ready. Inhale, your arms up, lengthen, and exhale. You may hinge forward, grow longer. Holding on to the foot, the legs, all holding on to the chair. Once again, hip bone level, ankle bones. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward, not rounding or dropping the head. If you have very tight hamstrings, slightly bend the knee. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly rise up to release, alternating bending your knees again. And from here, we're going to do quadriceps stretch. So we're going to shift the weight to the inside leg. Heel down first, grab the toes. Staying the big toe down. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Grab a hold the other ankles. Knees together. We're not opening up the knees. Knees together. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Neck is long, spine is straight. Holding it here. For three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling, release any tension that you may have. And we will repeat on the other side. So we're going to shift the weight to the other leg. Grab a hold the other foot or ankles, knees together, kick the foot into your hand. Abs are firm, eyes looking at the focal point. Now, if you fall out of it, if you lose your balance, get back in, holding on to your chair to set up. Strengthening the standing leg and ankle, fall prevention. Stretching out the quadriceps, the back muscle. Holding it here for three, two, and one. Slowly, slowly release. Alternating bend your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. And now we're gonna firm up the butt, the glutes, the back muscle. So I'm gonna give you a side view. Standing about a foot away from the chair. We're not standing too far apart. Square the hip to the front. Doesn't matter which leg you start. Shift the weight to the standing leg. Straight leg. We're not kicking the butt. Straight leg. By kicking at the back, you're going to immediately feel your butt, your glutes, the big muscle firming up. Abs are firm. Pull your belly in. Looking at a point on the floor or at the horizon. Something that doesn't move. That will help you with balancing. Standing up nice and tall. Let's do another three, two, and one. Slowly release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, basically. Release any tension that you may have. And by doing this very simple move, we're strengthening the entire leg from the hip joint to your toes. So if you have a few minutes at home, you can do this, holding onto the chair, your kitchen table, your kitchen counter for support. Now we're going to do the other leg. So we're going to shift the weight to the other leg, bring up the other leg, smaller kick. We're not turning one way or the other, straight leg, and we're not kicking the butt. Straight leg, do it about 20 times. 
engage your core abdominal muscles. Look at a focal point on the floor or at the horizon. So eyes looking down or eyes looking forward. Your choice. Good posture. Let's do another three. Two. And one, slowly, slowly release. Alternating bending your knees again. Mountain climbing, bicycle. Release any tension that you may have. Now we're going to continue. We're going to hold on to your chair for support. Shift the weight to one leg. Doesn't matter which one. So we're going to spread the toes, grab the mat, or taking the big toe down. So, and we're going to bring up the other leg. Outside hand on your waist to support. Flex the outside foot. Hip rotation five times. Now you don't have to raise it high up, just go to where you're comfortable. Change direction, go the other way. And slowly, slowly release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. And when you're ready, we're gonna shift the weight to the other leg, outside hand on the waist, and we're gonna lift up the other leg, flex the foot, five times one way, five times reverse. Opening up the hip joint, oiling the hip joint. Slowly, slowly release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycle. Release any tension that you may have. And we're going to do some leg swing. So we're going to shift the weight into the standing leg, doesn't matter which one. And swing, we're not kicking. You want to extend the entire leg, strengthening the leg to support knee function, no muscle in the knees, only ligaments and tendons. So we do have to strengthen the leg, loosen up the hip joint. Now you can do this holding onto the kitchen table, kitchen counter, or holding onto the back of your chairs. And release, alternating bending your knees. Release any tension that you may have, toe stretch, ankle stretch. And now we're going to repeat on the other side. So we're going to shift the weight to the standing leg. All four corners press down, regardless of whether you're high arch or flat foot. Swing, don't kick. We want to control our movement always. Strengthening the entire leg from the hip joint to your foot. Let's do another three, two. And one, slowly release, alternating bending your knees, mountain climbing, bicycling. Release any tension that you may have. Coming into uh, chair pose. So all 10 toes facing from the next side of width. Give your side view. Inhale, sit in your chair, exhale, right side, up and down. So you can also do this holding onto your chair, just up and down. We're not squeezing the thigh together all 10 toes facing the front. So if you feel more secure holding onto your chair, so you can do it like up and down like this. You don't have to go very far down. Fast to height. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Shoulder issues, cactus arm. Waist in the heel, you should see your toes wiggle your toes. Slightly tuck the tailbones in to protect your back. Don't push the knee beyond your toes. Strong arms, strong core. We're going to continue to work the legs in the chair pose. Continue to strengthen muscles, loosening up the joint. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly release. A little bit of ballet here. Toes are coordinated out. So holding onto the chair. Outside hand on your waist first. Now we're gonna come down. Knee, toes facing out. So try it out first, bar stool height. Find the center of gravity. Using your chair as a bar, so we are like ballet. And when you're ready, we're at the arms. Arm down, when you come down, up. Inhale, up, exhale, down. So just breathe in and out normally through your nose. Now we're not doing forward, backwards, okay? Make sure it's up and down. Straight back. Watch your back. Watch your knees. No need to go very far down. If you feel like this is 
putting your back or your knee, just slowly come out of this. And we're going to switch sides. So I'm just going to have hands on. Feel free to go on the other side of the chair. So I'm just going to go like this. Inhale up, exhale down. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Let's do another three, two, and one. Very good. Slowly, slowly rise back up again and down by your side. Heel toe, heel toe, bring the legs together, shake it out, alternating, bending your knees, mountain climb, bicycling. So you should have released any tension that you may have. And now we'll go into a hula hoop. So all 10 toes facing in front, legs are hip width, hands on your waist for support, soft knees, start your hula hoop. Starting a small circle first, know your range of motion. Do not pull a back muscle, don't lock your knees. Loosen up the spine. Now, when you're in the center position, we're going to change direction, go the other way. Very big circular motion. Hula hoop. Slowly, slowly come back to center to release. Very good. Shake it out. Now, we're going to do a big, big stir the pot. So, widen your stand. Interlace the finger, stir one leg straight, the other leg bend. Big, big stir the pot. Find your center of gravity, not leaning forward. We're just going side to side. Feel free to point the toes off the straight leg. Nice and slow of control. Big, big stir the pot. Now, when you're in the sun position, we're going to go the other way. Change your stir. So, widen your stand. Find the center of gravity. And slowly, slowly come back to center. To release. Very good. Heel toe, heel toe. Bring the legs together. Shake it out. Coming into a standing crescent movement. So, all ten toes facing in front. This is hip width. You don't have to open up very wide. Hip width. Shoulders relax down from the knees. We're going to inhale the arms up, lengthening the spine. Exhale and come to the right side. Outside hand club holding service. So this is a standing crescent moon. Stimulating meridian points at the puncture point in the side of the body. Now we're going to inhale, center. Tall and long. We want to lengthen the spine. We want to keep being tall and not being a humpback. Outside hand, grab a hold inside wrist, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up, stimulating meridian points at the puncture point in the side of the body. Now, one more set. Inhale, center, exhale to the right, release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee, get a little bit deep in your side bend. Inhale, center to lengthen. Exhale, we go to the other side, release the bottom arm, top arm, suppress the knee, side body long. Slowly, slowly come back up, Calm down by your side, shake it out. If you're around shoulder roll, release any tension that you may have. Soft knees, we're going to sway, touching opposite shoulders. Don't lock your knees. Now know your range of motion of your spine. No need to go fast and no need to go big. Take your time. Don't make yourself dizzy. You're just touching opposite shoulder. Soft knee so you can turn. And now we're going to touch opposite hips. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Two, release. Very good. And now we're going to go arm swing. So swing it up to the shoulder height, palm facing down. We're not hitting, we're just swinging. Continue to loosen up the shoulder joint. Increase circulation, oxygen, blood 
flow throughout the body. Once you have good blood circulation, it's going to make you feel a whole lot better. Increase immunity, improve digestion and sleep quality. So improve overall wellness. Now on the fourth one, I'm going to do knee drop. Knee drops are totally optional. So when you're ready, one, two, three, four is knee drop. You don't have to go very far down. One, two, three, four is knee drop. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One last set. One, two, three, and four. Very good. Slowly rise up. Shake it out. So we've come to the end of the class. So thank you very much for joining me and sharing the joy of yoga. So we did a lot of stretches. So hopefully that cover every part of the body. So thank you very much. Namaste.